This week's videos are sponsored by an app that I've been using since before we even partnered with them, and that app is Rocket Money. More on them after the reaction, people. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back for more spectacular Spider-Man diving into episodes three and four. How are you today, John? I am spectacularly excited, man. Oh, I like that. I like that. The man is ready. It took five or so episodes of rewatch for that very obvious pun that I was unprepared for. Oh, no. We are diving into three and four. You guys were very responsive to one and two. I'd like you to keep that up down below in the comments. Let us know what your favorite episode is, what your favorite villain is. Let's have a conversation in the chat. Please do also like this video so we know that you, in fact, like, like this video. video. It does help us understand. Also, speaking of liking things, we like Prepper because they're great. Without them, we are in a in a sea of chaos. We are wandering to and fro looking for the end, the beginning, what's even happening. Speaking of looking for the end of the beginning, you can head over to Patreon and watch this from beginning to end like you're sitting on the couch alongside us. Is there a couch? Tune into the Patreon to find out. Doesn't look like there's a couch in the regular video. There might be a couch over there. And there's also exclusive watch alongs with John and Greg over on Patreon where they watch things exclusively for those super sexy rejects. Without further ado, let's watch Spectacular Spider-Man episodes three, 3 and 4 of season 2. <laughs> yes, it's Holly and Jolly. Oh, yeah. A lot of Christmas in July this what year. A, what a vibe. We were just talking about how hot it was. <laughs> You're thinking, it's almost Christmas. Even Spidey must have a tree to trim, so gifts to wrap. <laughs> That's always what I'm thinking. What does Spider Man do on every major holiday? <laughs> I gotta around. wrap up a little investigation. Whoa. Even though I busted Mysterio, all that tech he stole is still missing. And every low life I meet says Blackie Gaxton's the man to talk. No. So talk. <laughs> What's the big hero gonna do if I clam up? Blackie, <laughs> give me two to one on. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Blackie, no. Bye. No fighting, no spitting, no gambling, no cussing. Rumor is Mysterio was fronting for some big boss. <laughs> Gave that up awful easy, Blackie. Everyone sworn to secrecy on pain of you know what. Uh -oh. uh, thanks, Blackie. I, I owe you an eggnog. <laughs> I just, just want to go back and read the ball graffiti. Yeah, like what's going on back there? And what would your name be, young man? <laughs> Catch. Wow. Did your parents have foresight or what? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I want for Christmas? Not Name Logan. a Mysterio's boss? That's a start. They, they call him the master planner. Oh. Oh, Patch. Patch Boomhauer helping out. Yes, Tinker. Spider-Man's closing in. Round up the usual suspects. We got a new six? Seven. A sinister seven. A sinister. You know, you still got the alliteration. That's, That's very important. important. You can yeah. only go up by one. Otherwise, you lose it. Who is Blackie? Blackie is a <laughs> mid-level henchman. Uh, he's definitely like the, the 70s era, but uh, I never pictured I him British. I definitely, Yeah, the mustache. <laughs> But I definitely like the British choice, because obviously when you read comics, you don't hear a voice necessarily. Yeah, he's like got that choice. Carl Urban rasp. Someone in our comments from uh, episodes one and two mentioned that Craven reminded them of Puma. And I like that take, because Puma's oh. an actual transformed feral cat man. Uh, and that helped me like it a little bit more. Still not my take on Craven, but I like the Puma. Redemption arc. Yeah, so thank you, comments for giving me that little bit of closure. Hells yeah. Oh, I'm happy See, we to read that. them. We read them. Leave a comment. We read them comments. And you said you weren't going to read the I comments. I said the finale. Remember? I said we're coming back to comments yeah. the season two. Uh, okay. Finale, fair, I was fair, like, fair, yeah, fair, yeah. Fair, fair, There's so many videos, John. We got to keep track. I know. They blur together I with didn't goodness. read the finale. I didn't. Wowie. Tomes back. Breakfast. Oh, you put these guys together? A hologram. Yeah, buddy. The warden's gonna freak. Not again. At least you're real. No, he's a robot. <laughs> Love that sound effect, Yeah, too. that's really good, like a hollow plastic. That's encouraging news, Cletus. But it was Max's turn to speak. Oh, Carnage Cletus. is here. Cletus? Cletus Cassidy. Right, Dr. Octopus? I despise everything associated with that name. Otto, your progress is nothing short of amazing. Is it just because the tentacles are gone? Whoa! Ow! Yeah, just that's them a right lot together. of thunk. Craven is sent to liberate you and Electro. I used to worship the dark, but what's left of him isn't worth the trouble. Ouch. No. <laughs> oh, that's better. Not bad. Please, Max. What kind of stand? Popsicle stand? I was about to ask that, yeah. It's important. Did they cut out Popsicle? <laughs> gotta get Greg to do your Comic-Con one year. Yeah. October. Sign, the, sign that change.org petition. That's right. Get in there. Get in those comments. <gasps> that was amazing. Uh-oh. Better not look too good. Whoa. Whoa. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, great triple clutz. <laughs> <laughs> My man with the figure skating pun. My favorite tutor needs a little lesson. Oh. No. No. Oh, poor Gwen. <laughs> Flash, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you I know you're proud, but what are you doing? Soon you'll be good as new, and those college yeah. scouts will be busting down your door. Liz, I'm ready for my lesson. Petey, can't you see I'm in the oh. middle of something? Take okay. yourself for a spin. Aw, <laughs> oh, Flash. Smirking with the wind. Hmm. Is there a problem? I've had bad experiences with cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Our host and benefactor, the master planner. Playing the same long game as the first season, but even longer. This is disappointing. I had so hoped to inaugurate the Sinister Seven. Four, five. <laughs> that was me a couple minutes ago. How exactly is a new six supposed to fare any better than the old one? Unsurprisingly, I have a plan. Ah. ah, he's a master of them. Yes. And he looks kind of like a Christmas tree in that status. Mm, good crossover. Yeah, a little transition, episode, yeah. yeah. He's a seasonal villain. <laughs> I wish those existed. Oh, they're out there. Are there? Batman's got a bunch. Hey, QB! You want a oh, slushy? No. no. This is Flash's villain. <laughs> story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are so going down. <laughs> I like how we can go either way. We're like angry or happy Flash. That feels apropos. Either hey, Gwen. You stand a little company? Oh, second place, Gwen, huh? Yeah, now that you're... Whoa, yeah. look. What did I do to deserve... Barely said two words to me since... So I get it, okay? I'm not your oh. first choice, but I won't be your second choice either. Ouch. Good for you, Gwen. Yeah. Get that Skating on thin ice again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so painful, I almost felt it. <laughs> You're one of my favorite guys. Would you look at her? Oh, no. <laughs> Gorge. <laughs> but you distract too <laughs> easy. Amazing. <laughs> Decide what you want, Pete. Then focus on getting it done. Don't suppose you'd help a poor, distractible boy sort through all this? Uh-oh. <laughs> I sort better with Coco. Hey. <laughs> that was a quick pivot cover. there, Parker. Yeah. Just throwing webs at the walls and seeing what sticks. He's here. I smell him. Team one, deploy. That will lure the do-gooder into the open. Way ahead of you. Animation's always improving in this show. It's the grace of the motion and stuff. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man, come out to play! <laughs> I haven't seen the Warriors, but that's a Warriors reference. Very much so. I know the reference. Haven't seen the movie either. Hey, hey one Maybe day. Maybe we'll watch one Warriors. Day. Yeah. Warriors. I've seen Warrior with Tom Hardy, but never his brothers. There you go. Now, now, watch the mouth. Yeah, kill them, present. <laughs> 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 What? I burn my tongue, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Little tufts of condensation through the mask is great. Oh, my God. Oh. Ah! Beaky? Is that a revolving dog that pigeon? <laughs> he called him Beaky again. <laughs> really need to stop with the banter until the tongue's had time to heal. <laughs> Gotta figure on the entire Simpleton Six. <laughs> Oh, Simple that's fun. Thing. His his internal voice is... It doesn't have the tongue because he's... <laughs> Big Hero doesn't seem too focused on us. It's almost as if he expects more company. <laughs> Uh-oh. Which one of his friends then also recent girl interests gets picked up? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Everybody. Oh, oh he's grounded. <laughs> oh, the guest. I gotta get these goons off the ice. Come on, guys. Yeah. Let's play follow the leader. <laughs> It's a good bit. Beaky's awfully protective of that glorified tiara, which means I can use his paranoia him. to pin his wings. Let's go. Clip him. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> you know, for an evil old knob, you make a lovely ornament. <laughs> Come an old knob. No, Ooh. you fool! I'll be free in a moment! Uh, yeah. Just, yeah, just buddy. happened to the, the water, yeah. Short amount. You pull up a quick look plate? The quick look plate? <laughs> no. The quick look plate? Whoa. Oh. Good man, Flash. Whoa, Spidey, thanks. <laughs> Sign my cast? Yeah, <laughs> maybe later. No, web it. Web it for him. Sign my cast. Peter. Oh, no. I'd use my environment. I'd come out from under that tree after. Uh, at least I got him off the ice. Get some Jackie Chan Spider-Man fighting. Yeah. Oh, I'll just get him off the planet. Get him off the planet. Won't escape me that easy. Nice. Ah, lots of rubber insulation. Yeah, buddy. Vulcanize that boy. Come on. Nice, nice. 
that your best shot? Feeble. Well, up at first, yada yada yada. <laughs> but first, yada yada yada. <laughs> Yeah, I love the agility they're putting into this. Eventually, you'll run out of tires. Then I'll... Is he gonna tire out? Oh? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh. Then you'll what? Take me out for a spin? And <laughs> now is Electro spin. is tired. Spider-Man has run circles around you. Yes. That coat, or should I say coating, looks amazing on you. Non-conductive, you say? Gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> Clever. Smart guy. Scientist. Sparks and flaps were just the appetizer. Time for the main course. Oh. Coming in shifts is smart, actually. These two love working together. Agile, then bruisers, and then smarts. Anyone get the number of that sleigh? <laughs> Ain't he a clever boy? See, it's Christmas Eve, and he said sleigh, <laughs> you know, instead of truck. Thanks, Sandman. At least they appreciate the humor. Whee! Oh, no. The thing about tanks, they don't corner well. Yep. <laughs> this is kind of fun, me and you, right? <laughs> like old time. Hey! You're having fun with that sand power. Hot potato Spider-Man. Arms, check. <laughs> Head, check. Hey, my burnt tongue's better, too. Hey. Woo. A bug for a bug. For you, that was clever. Thanks. <laughs> you guys are proud. K killing it, O'Hearn. Can't we put our differences aside for one night? Yeah, happy holidays. When we're done with you, there won't be enough left to stuff my stocking. <laughs> I have a big stocking. Very big stock. I want to pull off that mask and see who he is before we end it. Uh oh. I'm strictly a do not unwrap until Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I love that trick. You did the T1000. We ineffective, so focus on plan B. <laughs> Mudman. And cold Mudman. <laughs> oh. Clever. Whoa. If you think you're beast enough to come and get it, yep. oh, get him over the water. Oh. Here, you're gonna need this. <laughs> yeah. I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh, you love him deep down. There's that agility. You love him. Oh, He's slower. He's freezing up. Hydrant water saturating his silicates. Silicates. Oh, but also God, he's not you. the only one. I guess we'll do this the hard way. Nice ice animation. It's up, Frosty! <laughs> it's getting oh, colder and colder. The snowman. Four down, two to go. Yeah, he's a snowman now, not a sandman. Arachnid! <laughs> Wedhead in death. Is Mysterio Ock? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with a craven punch. That was smart. On a dragon back. Ugh, I'm totally white. Yeah, dude. Man, I hope it's only six. I mean, I feel tired watching this fight. I think I lost <laughs> <the> back <laughs> your chimneys, folks. You put the daily bugle on your tree. tree. <laughs> great marketing, Jonah. Guess the great uh, hunter was afraid to take me on alone this time. He's a way of jungle. The pack wears prey down for alpha male to crush. Yeah, buddy. And you fancy yourself the alpha. Sometimes you gotta ride a dragon. Yeah, I, I would if I could. <laughs> glitch. It's called poisson gâté. Nice, huh? <laughs> it is very nice. I would like some. <laughs> hey, everyone. Wow, great perfume. Can I try some? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. That would be very intense. And his heightened senses. You know, it's clever. You gotta smell much else ever again. Get that laugh. Rematch! 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 That's it! Harass me, my lawyer! Harass me, call my lawyer! Spirit! Yeah! I love them. Second floor, toys, housewives, superhero defeat. <laughs> <laughs> superhero defeat department. Dang. That swing. Craven, no! If the real Mysterio's down there, this one's a bot. A bot about to... Oh, fudge. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Saving Christmas, Peter Parker. Not the smartest cat. Well, that's five down. 
Please tell me these guys are going on the naughty list. <laughs> <laughs> like Santa with the soul patch. I'm using that stupid fishbowl of yours as a snow globe. Not if you can't find me. <laughs> oh, I would love a Mysterio snow globe. That's a great idea. Mm, his head. Yeah, the purple full body, base. But with the head. Yeah. No need for voice. Ouch. I'm just making sure you're not a bot. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> The master planner set this up. Who is he, and what's he doing with all that tech you stole? Maybe the master planner has a master plan? It is in his name. It stands to reason. Is this all a big distraction? <laughs> Classic. Classic Spidey. Where's Parker gonna be? I'm sure Pete's fine. Why wouldn't I be? Pete! Ow! Hot! Sorry, sorry. Wait, no, I'm, I'm not sorry. Where have you been? Yeah, screw you, buddy. The snack bar ran out of cocoa, so I went down the street. Why? So you missed all the action. <laughs> I thought you were buried under that tree. Gwen, I, I know that I've been... Fix things. ...unfocused and... He's gone! Oh, boy. Damn it. Extractions complete. Oh. Extraction. The film, I just finished watching Extraction. Chris Emsworth. Seen the second one? Yeah, Seen no. Seen better? No, gotta see the second one. Nobody's going to hurt you. Before the rainbow, you'll have to endure a little rain little on rain. him. Little Hydro Man, foreshadowing. Oh no, oh no. No, leave him alone. No, He leave tried him to alone. be his own man. No, no, no! He was doing so well. <laughs> I don't think she can help you, man. Extraction's complete. Only Mysterio was taken into custody. Man, he better not be another robot. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, please, it's Christmas. I'm sorry, Aunt May. I love Christmas. Here, open Pretty yours. Great. More than halfway? Don't remind <laughs> me. I don't love Christmas that much, Coy. <laughs> I wanted to find a way to... He's here, Peter. He's always here. Oh. Yeah. Uncle Ed Asner. He's always here. Aww. Cute. I feel holly and jolly. Yeah. All the Christmas feels. There he is. Looking out. You know how we do? We're diving right into episode four immediately, and it does seem like these pair. I do feel like we're going to get some master planner payoff as we dive into four. Loved episode three. I'm a sucker for a Shane Black movie because, <sighs> man, do I love Christmas. Samesies. I also love this very pleasant Christmassy outro music. It is a vibe. But you know what else is a vibe is getting the next episode started. It is. As much as I just want to sit leisure. here and listen At to your it. Yeah. <laughs> I can just hang, man. We can just have so, a little holly jolly. So pleasant. All right. All right, Coy. Now we've got a new Christmas episode. Like, do you have that thing where you watch Christmas movies and Christmas episodes? Yeah, like we now a log, have a new now one. Have like a playlist. Hey. Put it on the books. Spectacular right. Spider Man Season 2, Episode 3, because we're going to watch Episode 4 in 3, 2, 1. Oh, already out of prison again. Yeah. Welcome to your lair, Master Planner. Thank you, Tinkerer. Like I guess no. they didn't get caught. Why didn't you break out with Craven and me? Oh, it's so charmingly uncomplicated. <laughs> <laughs> what a great insult, charmingly uncomplicated. Safety and obscurity of a hospital bed has its advantages. Mm. Spider-Man searches for the master planner, leaving Octavius free to plan. Is he the master planner? That's what he's saying. He is the shape of a tree? Yeah. That's clever. Yeah, that's what he just implied. So glad you could make it. Well, you're a hard mentor to say no to, Mr. Osborne. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Morris Bench, our demolitions expert. Yes. Cascading detonations bring the building down in its own footprint. Wow. Excuse me, sir. A word? He's very excited about this. He likes explosions, this Morris Bench. It's about tombs. We've had no luck. Peter, go get a good seat for the implosion. Don't hear this. Yeah, don't listen to this Adrian Toomes intel. <laughs> Vulture is still... No, 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 no! Countdown's the... activated! Uh, uh -oh. 30 seconds to implosion! A little what? rain, a little rainbow! Bro, what? We'll never get clear in time. Yeesh, who invited Debbie Downer? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, slingshot! <laughs> slingshot! <laughs> what about Peter Parker? Oh, he does care. Eh? Already safe, your turn. <laughs> Already safe. Good catch. I am out of here. 
nice shot. That was great. Oh, nice shot. That was cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, I, so Otto. I yes. mean, I assume by his terminology. I mean, my question then is, yeah, is he just putting on an act when he doesn't have the tentacles on, or the tentacles are another part of his brain? Like, has he compartmentalized to where there's like an evil? Because I bought his act in the psychiatry I ward. I did too. But maybe we're supposed to. Yeah. Because he I did mean, have a good twist. reason for why the hospital's better. Spider-Man! All right, see, we're listening this time. I'm going to learn how to do a cover of this. What instrument? We're just singing. All of them, right. Koi. It's going to play them all. It'll be a one-man band. Five person, no, Sinister Six, but all John. Yeah, there you go. And it'll be a little drone yeah. projection robot. Two drums like slip. be like Mysterio, you know, yeah. Superimpose you all over the video. There it goes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of there, Spider-Man. Sheer, Sheer strength. strength. Why would you run up? The building gets exploded. What are you doing? Oh, boy. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, that's cool. Because this is cool. That's yeah, why. no, it's worth it. Thank you. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, we tried, Adrian. Osborne's time will come. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just as my neurotransmitter chip allows me to control... I'll leave that mess. <laughs> Evil genius bug! <laughs> Yes. yes! My brain now has a working wireless connection with nearly every computer in the city. Whoa. In less than 24 hours, the entire world will be at my mercy. Good explanation for the bombs. You two doing anything tonight for New Year's Eve? Together? Well, we hadn't planned. Together, separate, <laughs> planned, not planned? You could head to Times Square and see the ball drop. Yeah. Cute. Now that you mention it. Come on, Peter. Chocolate! Sugar Flash. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Liz, what are you doing? How I Milked My Injury, starring Flash Thompson. 117! Jeez. Th that's us. Nice try, Miss Subtle. <laughs> it's oh. hopeless. He's into Liz. No, no. He's just a little confused. Hi, Petey. Hey, Liz. Okay, a lot confused. Oh. Flash and Liz are getting back together, so so I get to be runner-up. Yeah, that's not... I wasn't supposed to say anything, oh. but his aunt told my aunt, you're all he thinks about. And that is when he actually does think. <laughs> well, this isn't my yeah. word. No, sorry. Playing with the Anna Watson the other way. That's clever. The chip in this thing's whack, too. No! Spider-Man, get in there! Target's exiting the coffee shop. Now all that remains is to isolate you. Who is he tracking in the coffee shop? Oh, my boys. He's going to throw a car through the window. Yeah, he's got to stop and save Mary Jane and Gwen, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go, surveillance satellite. You want Midtown units all the way up at 124th? That's what my screen says. Jeez, causing uh -oh. chaos. Clearing out the area of the police. Damn, diabolical. And now, cue the chaos. Oh, he's like Seth Green in an Italian job. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Green light here, green light here. He's gonna buy a very nice stereo. <laughs> With speakers so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now that I'm in my 30s, I want a stereo like that. Like <laughs> a nice tower system. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Unhand her! Not Gwen. Why? There ain't even a couple yet, and I'm worried for her safety. Do they know she's. Ah, uh, she's dad. Uh, yeah. Chief Stacy? Is he the chief? Uh, I think he's chief. Right. Uh, he's captain in the comments. Captain I don't know what he is Stacey. here. There captain George Stacy. I don't know if he's been promoted. Commissioner Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but green. <laughs> I'm afraid you're not home free yet. Oh. The cursed arachnid is on your tail. Cool All shot. the screens and then yeah. Eat lightning, Spider-Man! Ah, uh, come on. So much for quietly following them to Vulture's nest. Yeah. That character design's cool on him. That, like, flaming skull of electricity. You gotta start webbing all the security cameras, man. They've really worked in his movements and, like, all of that. I eat Barstow. Where'd he go? Hey. Oh. Damn. Master Planner, our guest has arrived. Okay, confirmed. Lent us her phone. Oh, no. Hey, Gwen. No, not Gwen, Captain Stacy. It seems you need help keeping track of your daughter. Ouch. Dad! Dad, 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 help me! I'm... I'm... Oh, that's quite enough. Uh-oh. If you touch her, I will... Let's dispense with the ugly what-ifs and get <laughs> to the business at hand. What do you want? 
<laughs> Take a swig. The global portal code stored at Homeland Security's New York HQ. I couldn't get him if I wanted to. Oh, I think you could, with a little help. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> Gwen! Vulture's gone. Electro's gone. But you'll tell me where to find the girl. Yeah. We both know the hero won't do anything rash. This guy's not Michael Rooker, but he kind of sounds like him. He definitely has Michael Rooker energy. Oh! oh I knew you wouldn't really let me fall. Swear to me. Only break his legs, not kill him. You're counting on it. Or break his glasses. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's more of a Peter Parker it. thing That's Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. Hope you had insurance. I'll talk. That would be terrifying to get dropped from a skyscraper. You'd, you'd tend to talk, even oh, if you thought oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. With your brain, you can hack in any place. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but the codes are kept in an isolated system. A lot of cool camera angles this episode, and mirrors and reflections. Secret entrance to the master planner's lair. But since there's no way I'm getting in the front door, I gotta go in the back door. <laughs> I so need to invest in a spider-themed wetsuit. Yeah. Big shell. Agent Wade, Agent Briggs. Monitor duty through the uh, short straw, huh? Um, yeah. <laughs> Dullest detail in the FBI. Oh, shit. Let's find out just how secure the homeland is. Oh, no. Nice laser cannon. Effective. This is a federal facility, Stacy. We'll handle this. Wade, go. All security personnel, facility under external attack. I like her accent. Squad one to the roof, squad two the street, move. Get that SD card in there. <laughs> that virus has given me access to all home sex systems. Oh boy. I've increased your security clearance. You may proceed. He is a pretty master planner. I gotta hand it to him. Planning masterfully. Maybe I picked the wrong time to get territorial. I'm out of here. Uh, <laughs> tell me once. Oh, I wonder if good. it's like the old animated series, they can't have Wait guns or they have lasers. <laughs> Could be. I can imagine that. Girly, I I'll have you out soon. G girly. Web free. <laughs> girly. Oh. No! Oh, this is gonna show you how much you care. Take this conflict elsewhere. Sure thing, MP. So the master planner doesn't want all this tech damaged. Hey. Time to damage some tech. Don't tell me you're scared of a second-rate schemer with a funny voice. First, I'm not scared of nothing. Hey, let's go. Master planner ain't second-rate nothing. Oh, I like how in boy. every universe he's a little dumb. Don't call me Max, or I'll throw you into nothing. He's just blinded by rage. Retinal scan recognizes Stacy, comma, George. I like this is one giant button. Let me do, in. Do, do. The code. The code is yes. Maxi, Maximilian, Maximum. <laughs> Spitting. Uh -oh. Yeah, buddy. Now he's going to have to save your ass. Insert that drive into any other computer. I'll have my codes. You'll get your daughter. It's fun to hear the sassiness of Doc Ock, but with the voice changer, you can still hear it. Yeah. I want to talk to Gwen. This is no time to test me, Captain. It's the exact right time to test you. Is she safe? Stall. I'm not doing anything more until I know she's okay. Miss Stacy's resting at I the... talk to her, or you get nothing. Fine! <laughs> I love watching him get mad. Whoa. Great, even the walls have arms. <laughs> One mystery solved. A master planner. Nice. Secret identity advice from an expert. Don't sign your work, Dr. Octopus. Yes, Spider-Man. It's spectacularly clever of you. Ah. <laughs> to have guessed the truth after I revealed it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> fair point. Yeah, if you're going to dance with my date, then I'm totally dancing with yours. <laughs> yeah, let's go wreck some more stuff. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Bingo. Ooh. Not bad, except for- In the for water, too. Just make sure Gwen's not caught up in all yeah, that. Yeah, she's in one of the arms. If you want something done right. Do it your damn self, man. Oh, right. Right in the face. Right in the face. Distracted Spider-Man. More about all that electricity. I thought the arms race was over. Oh, I've still got a few up my sleeves. <laughs> Ah, uh, the puns. 
Whoa. Always forget that they can, like, turn into blades. Yeah, they've got so many Swiss Army Knife abilities. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. It's a lot of juice. Yeah. Oh, ah. Uh... Oh, the now chip. is he going to go back to good? Uh-oh. 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 A lot going on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Overload. It's too much. Too much. Yeah, you're not Dr. Server. Must destroy connection. Oh, boy. Server Lapod. My lair, my master plan, all ruined. Thanks. I specialize in foiling. <laughs> <laughs> One option remains. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Blown it all up. Self-destruct, just like the beginning of the episode. Full circle. Spider-Man. Is it going to collapse on itself, though? I mean, it would implode onto the sea. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Underwater destruction is also a very comic book. Wow. God, the redness of this sequence. Yeah. Makes his suit look that much Super more saturated. Super saturated, intense. yeah. Amazing Spider-Man number 33, the cover. Oh, my favorite cover. It's the last Steve Ditko issue before Johnny Mead Sr. took over. Dang, okay. Spidey history lesson. And Homecoming, when he lifts the thing, it mirrors yeah. that as well, but this is the actual Get shot. Up, like this frame is the, like the machinery and everything. They did it. I did my best. Even foiled Doc's plan. You got this, Spider-Man. Come on, buddy. No one could ask any more of me. <laughs> They're doing the thing. Don't quit. What am I doing? I can't give up. Not with Gwen depending on me. Yeah, not with Gwen to Gwending on me. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. Get it. Yeah, shred it. Shred it. There's the shot. Good job, guys. You did the thing. Hey, they know. They know how to pay their homage. We appreciate you. It's cold. It'll get colder if we don't get out of here. Hold on. Oh, come on. What about him? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta save Max. Yeah, killed that right. <laughs> Don't touch him. He's still juiced. Yeah, clearly. Come on, Gwen. Oh boy. Come on, Gwen. You can do this. Yeah. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Then it implodes. Oh yeah, you're I'm still. Caught. Mission. He's lasering for fun. Man's takes orders. Planner, are you there? Listen, Planner. Dad, it's me. Gwen? Oh. Are you? I'm fine, honey. Just fine. Let me destroy this evidence so I can keep my job. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> this act of treason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try her again. Oh. I'm sure Gwen appreciates your perseverance. My back. Hello. Um, hi, Captain Stacy. It's midnight, Peter. Peter Parker? Yeah, I know who you are, Pete. But I've told you, Gwen's been through a lot, and we're Dad, not gonna... is that my phone? Not tonight, it isn't. Oh. Don't you give me that look, Gwendolyn Stacy. Oh. Could that be? Heart Peter? Heart. Oh. Oh. Hi, Petey. This? Oh, Complications! I, I mean, it's almost midnight. Shouldn't you be, you know, flash? On make outings. Tonight I told him it's over. Ooh. Really, really Free. over. I want to be with you. Happy New but Year. But Peter's realized, oh, it's complicated. Oh. Happy New Year, Petey. I'm so conflicted. What's he going to do? Oh. Anyone there? Uh, frozen frozen Spider-Man. The Frozen Web is back. <laughs> oh. Oh, they are so good at the teen oh. melodrama. And we got Man. old leg sign in the credits. They're killing well, they're it. They're just bad. crushing ah. the vibe. Ah. Someone named Wade Wilson actually in the credits. What does it mean? You know, Deadpool hey. helped on the show. Hey, I would, you know, maybe there's going to be a surprise Deadpool. He's appearance. a big Spider Man fan, Deadpool. Uh, that imagine. was charming. That was a delight. Reject Nation, when I heard that this company wanted to partner up with us yet again. I was so enthusiastic about it. Reason being, I had already been using their product for well over a year by the point we first ever collaborated with them. So the fact that we get to have this ongoing partnership just makes me a happy camper. And that is, of course, for the app Rocket Money. Now, if you guys don't know what Rocket Money is, don't worry. I got you covered. I'll tell you about them in just a little bit. 
But before that, I wanted to share with you guys why I love this app so much. It's actually a very personal reason. You see, like many of you guys, I too grew up in a home where money did not come easily, needless to say. The predominant conversation in my family household was undoubtedly about financial struggle, financial worry. And that does a number on you. So it certainly seeped into my adulthood when I was trying to learn how to become financially independent. And to this day, as someone who talks a lot about working on his mental health, who's proudly going to therapy, no matter how much lack we might have in money one day or how much success we might have in money sometimes, I still have to have this ongoing conversation about my relationship with money. I'm half Filipino, so my mom's always talking to me about taxes to this day. I think, though, it does start with how you manage the finances you currently have. See, before I ever acquired any type of reasonable living money, I heard someone speak about how you have to learn what to do with a dollar now. Essentially, the talk was about don't wait until you have like a bunch of money and then start figuring out what to do with it afterwards. Like you got a bunch of toys to play with. If you want to acquire more in life, you have to first figure out what you're going to do with what you currently have. And that's why I love this app. It's applicable for any financial stage you are at in life. Come to think about it, it would have been very beneficial for me when I was in a real struggle boat years ago. So in summary, as someone who is constantly having an ongoing working relationship with how to handle money, Rocket Money has helped make that relationship a lot healthier in my life. So what are they, if you don't know what they are? What they are is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering your bills, and crafting a budget that fits your specific lifestyle. I'm telling you, Reject Nation, there's no greater feeling than when you look at the following month and you see that, oh my God, I have saved money. I've spent less and progress equals happiness. <laughs> the best part is Rocket Money does a lot of the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to stay within your budget goals. Because it's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. And one of my favorite qualities about their service too is when it comes to monthly subscriptions. We've been blessed to be able to expand the team and hire more people, but with that in mind, that also comes with a lot more expenses. So as this business has been growing, having to track exuberant amount more has been just as important. So now I have to track a lot of these business expenses, then I gotta track my own personal finances. So in general, it's already been helping out a lot with that. But as you wanna make things more efficient, you often find yourself signing up for a lot of apps for free trials that you quickly forget about Next thing you know, you're, you're paying a hefty fine for it. I'm sure even if you don't have a YouTube channel, there's some way you can relate with that. You see, because they track your monthly subscriptions and they make it super easy to cancel the ones you do not use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back into your pocket. So if you're like me, you found hidden subscriptions or pay for services that you totally forgot about. Rocket Money was a lifesaver in uncovering those and even negotiated some of my bills to about, like I'd say, like down by 20%. So if you want to join me on this journey of consistently taking care of your finances do not want to start later the best time is to start right now so please do yourself a favor check out rocket money and see how much you too can be saving that way you can stop wasting money on things you don't use believe me when it came to my accountant in tax season that was a really big note visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects they've helped me and i'm confident they'll do the same for you that's rocketmoney.com slash rejects your wallet will thank you because rocket money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million dollars in canceled subscriptions saving members up to 740 dollars a year when using all of the apps features so a great way to support your lifestyle and a great way to support the channel is by going and downloading the rocket money app yourself and if it does help you please go ahead draw me a message i'd love to hear if there's some way by just conveying this message it has helped you out too thank you reject nation we just watched three and four and they were a pair in their own way yeah. uh i like that the master planner made a pair of episodes for us masterfully planned uh we got the sinister six setting up the reveal of doc Ock. so in the last episode we had that big action spectacle but it's very much a sleight of hand so we could have the reveal of it all being a distraction for a bigger plan yeah. and then the bigger plan giving us an iconic Spider-Man moment with the cover and interiors of Amazing <sighs> Spider-Man number 33, which that covers my favorite, but also that is the last Steve Ditko issue who co-invented Spider-Man with Stan Lee. It's one of the most iconic images, which is why it's replicated in different mediums all the time. Okay. But I thought they did a really good job here adding the underwater element and the actual 
imagery of the machinery, and I like that in that storyline, it's more, you know, general of, like, he's strong enough, he's going to do it for Aunt May, he's going to do it for people. I like that it, in this case it was for Gwen. I like that Gwen was just offside. Uh, really, really beautiful storytelling. Dug that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I'm, I'm curious to see what the rest of the season shapes up into now because, you know, we had we started this season off with some master planner mm-hmm. hinting, and so now, and, and, I, and I feel like... Uh, Again, shouts out to whichever one of you pointed this out. But yeah, like they do these sort of three or four episode kind of arcs. So it seems like at least for right now, this new uh, master planner arc is, is you know, at least wrapped for the moment. I, I imagine that he'll have to come back somehow. But like, yeah. They introduced Carnage, man. They introduced Carnage. Yeah. That no, was that's cool. what I'm saying. And we've got like Eddie is missing and stuff like Still. that. And, and it's all stuff that's not even brought up in these episodes. But like, <laughs> yeah. We know. But judging by how the first season was so good at, yeah, playing a long game across the whole season, but playing these shorter, somewhat long games across arcs and then also having the episodic juice as well. Like, uh, just on the heels of the first two, because those two are sort of like individual back to back. You've got the Mysterio episode, you've mm-hmm. got the Craven episode, and then here, you know, you bring back the Sinister Six, but with a Craven involved, with a Mysterio <laughs> with, yeah, involved. Yeah, the new Sinister Six is our two new villains, so that we can get to this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was, again, just so fun and to coincide, like, again, a big team up, you know, event or a big, you know, uh, villain rogues team up event with, like, the major holidays was a fun choice. Uh, just aesthetically and whatnot, and to have everybody like out, yeah, at Rockville Center, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, skating under the tree. This Spider Man um, stays in New York and has New York vibes, which I like about him. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful, and and even just little things, Aunt May counting down at the end, just like Cute. the little character flourishes, the quips and the jokes are so great. Him having the burnt tongue, that was, that was funny. A very and charming then his little bit. inner monologue is normal, and then as soon as he speaks, it, yeah, that yeah, was clever. Yeah, and and even like I don't know because uh, 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 the live action movies especially for like uh, the stacy's are a large part of my lexicon versus yeah. like comics i i, I kind of like that uh, like is is captain stacy at odds with spider-man much in the comics as, as in the beginning and then once he realizes he starts to be team spider-man but at the cost of like protecting gwen like that that he's always gotcha. been like okay. he sees spider-man for who he is but also doesn't want okay like that relationship Gotcha. Because, yeah, like it, at the end there, it was like, oh, it's okay. Spider-Man's got me. And it was like, oh, cool. I'm glad that yeah. this isn't a conflict. Yeah, and, and like he, he gets killed by Doc Ock yeah. in the comics. Like George Stacy, that's yeah. how he goes. So I'm curious. Ugh. I don't, oh, no. Oh. Yeah. I'm curious, yeah, to see if some some heavy, you know, emotional toll is taken. So by we're this. definitely playing the long game with Gwen. A, like we're yeah. we're halfway through or a third of the way through the second season. And they still haven't, like, you know, really said it yet. She said it at the end of the finale, and they were, we're a third of the way into the next season. He's still like, oh, And now he knows how much he loves her, and he's still dancing. And I'm invested in all that. And I am I love that I am too conflicted, because I, I think Liz, Liz is, is great. great. Liz is so lovely, and, I, and the back and forth with her and Flash has been well handled, I think. And then, yeah, with Gwen and Peter, like, ah! Like, I feel for everyone involved, and yeah. the whole situation is just like, no, like... Both of these could be great, and we know and Mary that Jane's always there saying the right thing. Yeah, and, I was and, afraid and, it was going to be her at the door. Yeah, I was too. I was too, and they knew uh, what they were doing. And yeah, it was such a great choice. And I forgot uh, because Robert England was the voice of the Vulture before. Yeah, we got some great voices across all these guys. Very expressive. Lacey Chabay, Clancy Brown. Yeah, and uh, and the guy who plays uh, Doc Ock does a great job, I think too. Uh, uh, Peter McNichol. Uh, and that too is that a, is the master planner thing a thing from the comics? Yeah, but it's it's not Doc Ock. But okay. yeah, there's a master planner. Okay, I was gonna um, say that sounds like a familiar character, but I didn't think it was this twist, yeah. which I thought was cool here. But I'm also curious to see your thoughts on. Yeah, that. no, I thought it worked. I I think I like that twist better than the Craven Puma combo. I think the master planner as Doc Ock works because Doc Ock does have that like other voice in his head from the from the tentacles sometimes, and I do like they using the chip to make it a very literal thing. Uh, Greg Weisman the co- created the show was Donald Minkin, which is fun. Hey. Um, but yeah, I, I think they did a really good job playing with some comic tropes. They did a really good job with the imagery. Uh, I, I said it during, but I was really impressed at the animation escalating. They do a yeah. really good job. It looks like this is a more expensive show. Things have escalated in that direction. Uh, overall, I'm just really impressed with how much they capture Spider-Man. It's definitely that fun, friendly neighborhood, younger, the, the teen melodrama really works that being too much. Yeah. 
it feels like Peter Parker is a character even when he's in the Spider-Man suit, and that is really hard to do. Yeah, and because especially in these couple of episodes, I feel like Peter hasn't been on screen as much. But or you still least... feel his presence because yeah. because Spider-Man is so accurate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you know, this this was like kind of a jam-packed couple of episodes to me, and these these episodes definitely played like a back-to-back of like this is just one big Sinister Six, you know, or almost seven now. But yeah, I want to show you what the Master Planner looks like in Please. the uh, in the comics because it's a fun little thing they did there uh and i thought yeah they, they just managed to do s- like a lot they had these these episodes felt very packed very dense you had some great you know like action and swinging around the city and him having to like take on everybody in pairs but it didn't feel overly stuffed or overly rushed or anything like that and like the the rogues like i love how they've grown them across the first season and now it's like oh it's like the gang's all here, but they're all evil, but they're all here. It's like a bunch of, you know, like old friends or something like that. Oh. Like they're they're well worn in the characterizations. I had a cool thing just happen. What did it what Someone did, 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 did. later is the master planner again, but he is the original master planner, and I misremembered. Oh Doc Ock in that storyline I love, I forgot was revealed as the master planner in the sixties. Decades later, someone pretends to be the master planner in the 90s, and I was remembering the 90s one, but the original oh, was Doc Ock. Oh, that's, that's so glad really I looked it up, cool. Because I'm like, I, something's wrong about this, but this is the imagery. Oh. Look at, they even got the circles down the water. Yeah. So that's the original master planner storyline. I wow. misremembered that it was, in fact, Doc Ock. That is very cool. Not bad. Like that. Hells yeah. Um, well, and again, their lexicon across, from the sound of it, across so many eras of the comics is impressive. I'm glad I caught that before the comments got to me, because yeah, I would have been ashamed. Yeah, they would have pulled you apart, Koi. And do you remember when in the episode, and I would have deserved it, uh, in the episode when I said... Uh, oh, that's clever because the rain before the rainbow moment mm. in episode three, there was that rain before the rainbow. Yeah. Morris Bench. I was about to ask Morris Bench. He's the explosion guy, right? Hydro Man. Oh. The rain before the rainbow. Okay. He's rain. Okay. I think we're about to get uh, some Hydro Man action. I'm wondering if that, you know, with Sandman, is there going to be, there's there's only a couple issues, but there is a moment where he turns into this giant mud monster. But either way, Hydro Man would be excited. Okay, wait, is, was he the guy doing the demo? Yeah, that's the demolition. Bench. And uh, when they said his oh, name, that's why I was like, the rainbow fun. line. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Hydro Man right there. He's got a blue shirt looks, on. Who looks kind of like, uh, he looks kind of like Eddie Brock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And they got Bill Fagerbaki, who is the voice of Patrick Starr. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Not the blue shirt, he's Hydro Man. Say, they got a, a, a notable voice actor to play him, so he must be important coming up. That's gonna and, be fun. and that's the fun thing, too, is I love that you have. Uh, uh, like I love the way they introduced Quentin Beck like last season as just like a side hench who doesn't even get a name at first. Yeah, or, and, and you have this little moment with this Morris setup Bench. and people in the comics are like I know that name. Yeah, and and the I think that's a terrific use of the actual character name versus the persona name right. because for a layperson like me, they can sneak that character right past you, and then for an extra like you, you could be like, like ha you know. And the rain, the rain line to tease him, and then a follow up, and then. Comedy comes in threes. Genius. So good. So good. And like you said, yeah, the animation, like, especially too here with, like, you got snow, you're underwater, you got condensation, you got smoke effects and stuff like that. You've got, you know, Doc Ock's, like, infinite tentacles and things. And even the web-swinging agility, which, like, was a whole storyline with the tires. Like, that improvement was really cool. Love the agility there. And, I mean, we joked about, like, Jackie Chan fights, but, like, there is a certain element of that that is, like, so clever and lived in, like, yeah, bring him to the tire yard and put some tires on him and bring Sandman to the beach and get some you know water to freeze inside of his yeah sil- use the cold or whatever don't yeah. snow on him yeah that was that was amazing clever i clever really dug science that. boy really enjoying this show it is living up to the very lofty expectations yeah man that is gonna do it for episode that is gonna do it for episodes three Hedby, and Hedby. four been talking too much all the things uh this show what a delight very excited to keep well. going let us know in the comments below <sighs> when actually don't don't tell us when but let let us know in the comments below when you caught who Morris Bench was. Did you know yeah. it from the comics? Did you get a big reveal? Did you see the rain before the rainbow? I'm very excited to see. Maybe he doesn't come the next episode. Maybe it's like episode six. Either way, excited for Hydro Man. We will see you next time, Reject Nation. Thank you for being here. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Leave a comment. We'll see you soon.